Hey everybody, Arbitrary Gaber here, and we're back with Democracy 3. Let's get started. We'll load our previous game that we did last episode, and I just named it Cool because I didn't really feel like typing much out, and I was kind of in a hurry, so let's load it up. Now, as you remember, Democracy 3, if you watched the first episode, was a game in which you got to be a president of uh, various countries. We chose the United States because that's my place of origin. And we're implementing all types of policies and trying to bring crime down, health up, GDP up, unemployment down, poverty down, and keep education at uh, a green level, maybe even bring it up a little bit more. We want to make sure that everything is in the right spot when the election comes. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. 22% of the people intend to vote for us. Last time I think we had like 5% or so. So we jumped up a lot and that's that's a good thing. Uh, let's see what else. Credit rating is B, that's okay I guess. Global economy is doing well, that's good. So let's jump right in. All right, as you remember from last time, we have our big jumble of dots and stuff like that. The retired are very, very happy. Uh, state pensions, as you can see, is moving the green dots into it the fastest. Inheritance tax and property tax are negatively impacting the, uh, the retired, but we don't really care because they're already really happy. Pretty much changing that from now is just kind of going to waste these points up here. What we want to fer uh, focus on is getting this up and getting the reds up. Right now, parents are very mad. Drug addictions, the asthma epi epidemic, and handgun laws. But last time we changed subsidized school buses, and that might have changed parents a little bit. It doesn't, uh, didn't look like it made that much of an impact so far. We have the liberals too, which they are just like positively impacted and ne negatively impacted by a whole bunch of crap and trade union unionists I'm sorry I keep messing stuff up uh, they do not like private prisons and they do not like labor laws I don't even know what the trade unionists are so let's just not mess with them for right now let's mess with the people that are probably most important right now and the majority of our voters which are parents and it looks like the asthma em epidemic is pretty much negatively impacting this so much so far but that's really hard to uh, fix and so is drug addiction and handgun laws cost a lot so let's take a look at drug addiction because this will all, uh, also bring down crime a lot and as you can see it's positively impacting crime Obviously, if you're out on the street selling drugs, it's obviously got to boost up crime and a whole bunch of other stuff, but we're not going to get into that. And it seems that narcotics are negatively impacting it, which is good, and so is the police force. And it's also bringing down health, which is something we want to bring up, so this is something perfect to look at. So let's check out narcotics. It's fairly popular with voters. We have Betty Patterson here. It's going to bring us all the way. She kind of looks like a... Uh, kind of like a vampire. I don't know if you can see it. I just see a vampire. She looks very sinister. Like she's going to kill me in my sleep or something like that. Better watch out for her. Now, let's see. Narcotics. The more we bring this up... Legalize all drugs. Yeah, we want to keep this down. We don't want to mess with anything. Because right now it's already at the outlawed part and that's bringing down drug addiction. So we don't want to mess with that. What was the other thing? The police force, I think. Yeah. And we already have it at the maximum and it's already getting rid of some of this stuff. Some of this stuff takes a delay. So we kind of have to wait on that. What else could we do? It seems that unemployment is positively impacting it which means that it's helping it so unemployment is probably the biggest issue unemployment poverty and homelessness as you can see just about half 
maybe a third of the bubbles are pointing at unemployment and that's a very bad thing there's so many that we could start at obviously the GDP is negatively impacting the unemployment because it's not that good oh man see if you want to change one thing you have to go back to another and another and another it's like a big chain reaction it's really hard to do I guess we're gonna do with the one that's going in the fastest which would be GDP is another really really big one GDP uncompet oh my gosh wow this is really really complicated let's 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 start with something maybe a bit more simple like getting rid of some of these issues you know last time we were working on alcohol abuse and vigilante crimes which is down here and let's take a look at this now as you can see it completely dropped a lot and our stop trigger is right down here this green bar and pretty much once it hits that it stops now if we look at crime again which is right here what's something that's negatively impacting crime so we can try to get gated communities I think let's take a look at this one it's fairly popular and if we raise it a few people are gonna be mad the crime is gonna be brought down but conservatives and the wealthy are gonna be really really happy so let's apply this change and let's use the political capital for that and that'll hopefully bring bring down crime a little bit what else do we have uh, intelligence services let's take a look at this fairly unpopular uh, spy, spy satellite network high tech spy services spy agency see the more we raise this the more money we're gonna eat into so we probably don't want to mess with that let me think uh, this game can be very confusing sometimes what is this like tuberculosis no antisocial behavior hmm let's let's look uh, at the death penalty I know this one is a lot to lower and for most crime that'd be really bad for violent crime see this stuff costs a lot a lot and it's probably because of Betty Patterson it's probably making us pay so much so she can go home and buy a bunch of stuff because she's a vampire you gotta hate vampires vigilante mobs possibly impacted by crime crime is the only thing that's bringing this up pretty much and if we can find one thing that will really hit crime prisoner tagging that's a good one it'll get rid of crime and it's easy to raise and lower it'll make liberals mad but who cares because I don't care I don't care I just want to work getting crime down what else can we do private prisons have we messed with this already not really we don't want to mess with it too too much that changes a lot I think if we were to maybe put it on high, because we don't want to waste too much money as well, we'll apply those changes. We have 11 man political capital fisty thingies. So let's do one more thing with crime, and hopefully we'll see a big drop in crime by the end of the next turn. Let's look at, I think we already looked at armed police. Have we looked at prisons in general though? It's a really popular. And it appears that if we raise this, it's pretty much all good for anything. It only hurts crime and unemployment, which is good and makes everybody else happy. So let's apply those changes. We only have four left. Sorry for that. So let's just go to our next turn. 
We again misinterpret the Constitution, and again we're compiling misleading statistics. Now, as you can see, crime went way, way down, and unemployment is going down, which is good, and everything else is just about the same. Now, we're at 50% in the Pulse report, which is really good. We pretty much jumped up by half. That's really good. Now, there's a children's food urgency policy that we need to take a look at, so let's do that very quickly. All right, so a law has been proposed to regulate the fat and content and the fat content and nutritional value of foods sold to children, including foods sold in fast food restaurants and, of course, food served in schools. This is likely to incur costs for the food re retailers. Can it interfere with the free market? Obesity is... The moment I saw obesity, we're doing that one. So obesity is a problem. In the first episode, we clearly state that obesity was a big problem in like our government system in the US. We're the most likely to die early out of all the countries that we looked at. So that's not good. So let's continue. Let's get this quote. Democracy means simply the bludgeoning of the people, by the people, for the people. I don't know what that word is. Bludgeoning. Blue gel. Man, I should look that up later. That is a weird word. Parents, nothing. Liberal, even matter. Trade unionists, nothing. But look at all these people. The poor are happy. State employees are happy. Conservatives are happy. Wealthy are happy. Retired are the same. And let's take a look at vigilante crimes, which is moved up here. And wow. It's at the stop trigger already, which means next turn it's going to be gone. Wow. That was pretty good. Now let's take a look at, is this health? And let's look at what is positively impacting health and what's negatively impacting it. Now let's take a look at food stamps, which are pretty important, popular with voters. We have Julie Cooper here, who... I don't know how they make the faces in these. It's like they're forcing the smile. Like someone has a gun up to her head and they're like, smile or I'm going to shoot. She just looks really stressed out. Now, if we take a look at this, food stamps is a system where the state will issue vouchers or stamps to those citizens on low or no income to assure that they're able to afford food. It's a very, very important thing. And it's not wrong in any way. Food stamps are an important part of making a living and we really want to bring this up as you can see the only thing that hurts is poverty and everything else all the good things go up so we want to raise this to the max that'll cost us a little bit more per quarter but that's okay because this is a really really important issue we have a lot of points left let's take a more looks at health it appears that the Food Standards Agency and the Health Service is also making it good. Anna James here, not very effective. Costs a little, I guess. She also looks like her smile is being very forced. She looks a bit more sad, I guess, if you really look at her. Although many citizens would be happy to pay privately for their own health treatment, there is an argument that the state has the duty to provide a, mi a minimum level of free health treatment for everyone, regardless of income. That's really good. It's popular with voters, 63%. The only thing it hurts is capitalists and the wealthy, but not too, too much, and unemployment, which is good. So, if we raise this up a little bit, maybe... We don't want to make people too mad. I think we should do right about there. And it's going to cost us most everything to change that. So we're going to apply the changes. Anna James, don't fail us now. We have seven points left. So let's see if there's any last little things we can implement. Is there any policies that we could implement regarding law and order? We have community policing, which is not really, really popular 
and we have the Race Discrimination Act. Prevent citizens from being discriminated against purely on the basis of race. One quarter it'll has no income and neither does community policing. But that's not really I wonder if community policing is like neighborhood watch. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Watch. That is an absolutely hilarious movie with Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, all those people. And honestly, if I could get the watch in my neighborhood, I'd like be shitting my pants. That's really good. So we're definitely going to implement community policing. And like I said, it's very unpopular, but we're going to raise some of this stuff just a little bit. It'll take some implementation time. But I think high is pretty good. And it's all free, so we can apply the changes. And I think that's probably going to be about all we're going to get. Is there anything we can do with alcohol laws or alcohol consumption in general? Community policing is going to change that too. So I think we're good to go to our next turn. Appointing friends to top jobs. Nobody likes the spoil system and compiling misleading statistics. Unemployment again going down. Crime is finally in the yellow. Health is going up. GDP is about the same. Education is about the same and so is poverty. Vigilant vigilante mobs is now at an end, which is good. A superhero. Oh man. It looks like a pretty lame superhero, like he's a bunny man or something like that. Can you see those little... It's really weird. I would not want to have him in my neighborhood. Credit rating downgraded. Uh-oh, that's not good. 61% of the vote in an election. That is really good. Global economy is doing well. Credit rating is CC. And can we scroll down to see anything else? I guess. Human Rights Society has been criticized the government. We don't care. Loyalty is passable. That sucks. All right, let's continue. We're up in the yellow, yay. And vigilante cri crimes, as you can see, is no longer in law and order, which is good. We have a decent amount of income and we still have a pretty big expenditure, which is like a debt. That's like one trillion or something like that. Maybe it's more, I'm not sure. I'm not really good with numbers and place values. State employees are about to pee their pants. They're so happy and so are conservatives. Poor, even more happy. Wealthy, they're okay. Capitalists are a bit mad. Socialists are getting happier. And somehow retired are getting happier. Everybody likes the retired people. All right, so we have 30 fists. We're gonna end it there for the next time. Caesar's Palace is probably gonna be coming out next, and then we'll probably have another one of these. If you guys have any series you want me to start or any specific games you'd like me to try, please leave it in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, they're in the description. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us, me and Brennan, and especially me. Thank you guys, and peace out.